What is going on YouTube fam? It is your boy Dylan Flex and yes, we are back at it again with the daily vlogs. If you guys have not entered the giveaway, make sure you do, the link is in my description. We are giving away three shoes. It is super simple. All you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dylan Flex. Follow Capital Vegas on Instagram and there are a couple more ways which is super easy to enter. I wanted to show you guys what we have going on at the shop. Just got in some new Yeezys right now which were on the website. I put a couple up last night and they sold out so fast. Literally the site legit almost crashed. So that is super sick. Thank you for the people who copped the Yeezys. I wanna do something a little different today. I wanna to show you guys some ones that we just got into the shop. And yes, they will be on the website. Once you watch this, they should be on the website. And I want Eric to explain a little bit what we got going on here. Some of the ones now, but I'm not gonna even talk i'm gonna have my man eric shout out to eric what's up guys talk about what we have here and prices and stuff because we do have steals that are going to be on capitallv.com right yep so let's talk a little bit about the jordans and price wise and you can start wherever you want so these are actually his shoes that he had brought in that he's putting on and he has a bunch more ones he literally has a bunch more shoes but this is just some of the stuff that he brought in today so let's get started yeah so i brought in a few of my ones today i'm gonna start with here these are the black white retros. These came out right before the remaster program got rolled out. And this is a really slept on colorway. You know, people pass this up and use prices for these are always kind of low. Uh, it's actually an OG colorway, so it's part of the original set from 85. How much is that going to go for on the site? We're going to put these up probably at a buck 50. Well, okay, I might have to take that. That's my size. That's 11 and a half, so I might have to take that. These, the Family Forever joints. All you guys are going crazy on the, uh, the, the denim fours Levi's, but uh, you know, there's other Jordans with denim on them, so. You should probably check these out. This is cool. This was designed by his kids. So all three of his kids uh, had input on this. The denim is supposed to represent uh, his love for uh, wearing crap jeans. Wow. Yeah, because if you ever see pictures of Jordan, he always has the worst jeans on. <laughs> That's true. And then each three of these colors are supposed to represent his kids, their favorite colors right here at the eyelets. And what's really cool, I mean, you can see it's a little worn off the three, but the other shoe has uh, a two and it's supposed to, the picture is supposed to be the front gate of his house that I don't actually think he lives in anymore because I thought I remember seeing he uh, sold it. But yeah, that house is crazy. Those gates are nuts. Yeah. So we got those. So how much are we putting those up for the site? Those we're probably gonna do one ten. Cool. So these are all really good prices, all fair prices for the most part. Fresh pair of the uh, sale joints. This was a really slept on pack. Every year for like the past what two years, three years now, they always put out a set of you know black white uh, essential Jordan ones. Right. Uh, you know just low key things that are always available. These didn't sell out really at all. They actually went on discount uh, fairly quick and a lot of people were able to get these on discount. I bet those people are happy they got them on discount because this yeah. is a really cool colorway. I like this. Clean. Um, you get an extra lace swap. Uh, you get a red lace if you want to throw on the red lace on but the leather on these, solid. Like really, really good. And then we also have a fresh pair of the metallic navy joints. Again, this is an OG colorway. There's a whole metallic set from 85 that people kind of sleep on. Um, it's like there's there's actually like 13 original colorways of the Jordan 1, but there's only like five that people care about. That's true. What are we gonna put these up on the site for? Uh, this set, these are brand new. Um, we're definitely gonna have these under retail. I think we'll probably just put these at 120. Nice. Fresh pair. All the ones I brought in are 11, 11 and a half, by the way. Uh, that's what I wear. A used pair of the laser ones. These came out 2015, part of the 30th anniversary. All lasered in on the upper. The laser ones are cool. I like all the laser Jordans, honestly. Yeah. And it's cool. There's a matching Jordan 4 that came out with this. A lot of you've probably seen that. And then there's also a Jordan 20 that matches this. Then right here, we got the red metallics. The blue ones. Got the red ones here, too. Again, this was another one that sat. Another OG colorway. Honestly, I feel like if it's an OG colorway and you're into Jordan 1s, you should just own these. But I just need a downsize. That's why I need it. That's why I put these up, so. He said he needs to downsize his Jordan collection. His one, just his one collection alone is crazy. This is just stuff that he's giving to the shop right now for steals, so. So I'm probably just gonna put these up at 100 bucks. 100 bucks, okay. Brand and what were the lasers? I didn't ask you. What were the lasers we were gonna put up for? Oh, uh, price wise. We're probably gonna do 70 bucks. 70 bucks. Used, has a replacement box, so, but great condition, so. Brand new, all patent leather, navy this is blue. This a really cool one. I really like this one. I've never owned this one. Yeah. We're probably just gonna do uh, 200 on these. 200 on those? Yeah, that's which is retail plus tax. Right. Because these originally retailed at, I believe, 185. Right. Oh so. yeah, everybody loves these. 
everyone loves rightfully those. so these are the backwards this is still like pretty much the bar for judging you know leather quality on a jordan love that for a lot shoe. of people i definitely need to i need to grab a pair you of can those. still find like i would say the bin five still has better leather than this like but down you're talking about you know crazy stuff and you know i have to say when it comes to jordans and stuff i'm even getting my jordan collection up the comeback this year for Nike and Jordan and stuff, I'm excited and I've been talking to a lot of other people and I know they're excited too. So it's kind of cool to see that Jordan brand and stuff is really making a dent once again. The reverse backwards. I like these. I see they're not as cool as the original. Agreed. Just, I still like them personally too though. But it's a cool, uh, it's a cool shoot. The leather I would say is like nearly the same. It's like probably 95% there. If you really, Compare it, I would say this is just a little softer. It has a little more, feels a little more plush right. on the first one. But I would say they got this, like, it's pretty much the same. And price-wise, we have these at 275 Yep. Yeah. 11 again, and a half. This, again, I, everybody knew this was going to be a hot shoe when it came out. Um, right. I think new prices are pretty much at, like, 325 350 plus. This is the Chicago KO Retro. And they've actually dropped two of these. They did, this is the first one that came out. And then um, a couple years ago, they dropped a regular uh, Chicago KO Retro. And what's cool about the KO Retros is that when they, f I want to say it was around 09 when this came out. Yeah, this was 09. When they did the first KO Retros, they actually didn't do them um, true to form like the originals. Right. They didn't have the regular Jordan 1 bottom. They actually had the same bottom as this, the Nike Vandal, which was another just a retro Nike basketball shoe from 85. This is actually the OG colorway that just got retro this year. Never been retro. I love this shoe. I want to get a pair of my size. This is a size 12, and these are consigned right now at $90. And they didn't have a Jumpman because when these came out, there was no Jumpman. They were just they just say Nike. No Nike, not Nike Air, not like the regular Jordan ones. They just say Nike. What about this one? Nike doesn't do this too much, where they actually put out a shoe that comes fresh out the box, looking vintage. That is really cool. But you're thinking like, why is it dirty? The yellow it comes like this right out of the box. So the midsole comes pre-yellowed. And then the bottom comes pre-oxidized. Wow. Looks like it's been sitting in a box for 30 years. This is the human highlight. Oh, these are sick. This is uh, kind of pays homage to Dominic Wilkins. He played on the Hawks from, what was it, 82 was when he got drafted. And I think he was there till 94, right? This was part of the Formidable Foes pack. Pays homage to all the people who really were, like, going up against Jordan back in the day. Right. So I think it was this one. There was a Celtic colorway. It came out and there was also a NYX colorway. And this one's really cool. You don't really see this too much where you actually have an OG high Jordan with some sort of print. So if you look at the toe box, you actually see a camera reel. That is cool, yeah. The film. You can see that. There, right really there. It's right there on the side panel too, coming up on to the collar. What do we have these for at the shop? Buck 15. Good. Brand new, never worn. Shoom. We were just talking about the Chicago retros of the KO. This is also the uh, another one of the early KOs uh, retros that came out um, back in like 09. Kanye was actually rocking these a lot, and this was a cool shoe where... Um, you guys know they're hype beasts if Kanye's rocking them. But that's <laughs> the thing, you know, the, Kanye wore these quite a few times actually, and these never really went up in price like that because people, a lot of people look at this and it, they look, call this the poor man's bread, you know? Where this is the bread yeah. you can get where yeah. you can't get the good breads. Absolutely. But I disagree. I think these are just as cool. Um, again, this is another one where they didn't use the regular Vandal bottom, they used the normal Jordan 1 bottom. And instead of just putting Nike on the tongue, it's got a Jumpman right there. Sweet. Sorry for the plastic, I had to break that open. And these are on consignment for $1.80, um, and they're my size too. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. I might grab these. <laughs> well, there you go. I mean, you guys know all about these. I don't really need to explain these. These are fire. So a lot of you, if you recall, there were some issues where the left and right toe boxes weren't matching up in terms of leather texture. Yeah, you there were, was. There was a were, lot of complaints. A lot of people were getting two different, uh, you know, one toe being kind of smooth and one toe being super, super tumble. Yeah, I think they just made a lot of, just made a lot of these and quality control was not maybe up to par with some of the older releases. Yeah, well. And then we also have uh, Flyknits. Kind of similar to the uh, KO where people look at this as the poor man's bread for some reason. Mm -hmm. And I get why, you know, having the Flyknit on the Jordan 1, it's not as, I guess not as cool as having the leather, but the construction on these is so nice. And it's got a leather insole. This is probably one of the most comfortable Jordan 1s I've ever worn. Um, 200, 
size 11. So as you guys can see, Eric brought in some cool shoes and they will all be on the website. And yo, I got the haircut. So you guys are like, yeah, I got the haircut. So they will all be on Capital LV. And look who's back at it again, man. He's back at it again. What's up, y'all? J-Rock is here, man. I know you guys were hitting him up for tips and tricks, and yes, he is that good. This is not a joke, he really is. You're on your lunch break, right? I'm on my lunch break, for the record. <laughs> He's on his <laughs> lunch break playing right now, so a big shout out to you for coming down. He might, I see, I'm scared, man. He might get another W up in here. So this is a local brand out of Vegas. He's one of my good friends. His name's Daniel, and it's not for resale. He has some of his shirts up here. Really cool shirts. You guys will see the, the Yeezy burning one. Uh, there's a lot of really cool shirts that he has, and I have a bunch of these. Really good prices, really good quality as well. Anywhere from 25 to 35 bucks, you guys can get them here in Capital. I love supporting local brands, and I love helping people out. So a big shout out to Daniel. Of course, we're gonna rock with you, man. I guarantee you Kev says something about this mannequin shirtless. I promise you, watch, watch, watch. This businessman on the phone. <laughs> I knew it. Yo, what up, Yo, bro? Why? I on. see. Why is Fred shirtless again? Yo, people just keep buying stuff off of him, man. Y'all got my mannequin looking wild out here. Okay, with the top threes too. Okay, Kev. Where's the shirt? Can we put a shirt on? Yeah, give him this bape one. Toss him the bape zip up. The hype beast, Fred, over here. Making this guy look wild, man. No, he's ripped. It's Team Flex Squad. He's the mannequin. He's the buffest one here. <laughs> what we got over here, man? Shout out to you, man. Where are you from? Hey, we're from Portland. DNA Show. Tell them what's up. Man, let, it, know. let them know your channel. I had to let come know your through. Hey, DJ underscore sneakerhead. I got some of the craziest PEs in this world, so if y'all don't know, you got to get to them for that. But uh, I'm just excited to see the shop, really, because oh, it's dope, Thank you. Bro. Like, Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm really digging it. I'm digging Thanks, it. Bro. I love the channel. Shout out to all the subscribers, because oh, I know y'all supporting. I see his growth. Y'all doing y'all thing. I, lo I love y'all, too. I love How long are you here for? I'm literally out in the morning, bro. So you so, came down here just to see the shop, Yeah, huh? yeah. Oh, I'm man. just quick in and out. Got to oh. go off to LA. We appreciate yes. you for coming out, my for man. Sure, yes, sir. Sure. I appreciate everyone for the love and the support you have shown. Keep liking, keep commenting, keep subscribing. Videos daily. And if you have not already, join the Flex Squad! Man, I just wanna go flex. Score on my teeth and on my neck.